here at JTEC in the Diesel Technology Program. Today we're going to be talking about power flow through an E the Road Ranger manual transmission. Uh, as you can see, we've already got the transmission out on the bench and opened up so we can see the gears on the inside. And so pretty much what happens as the engine's rotating the flywheel, your input shaft goes through your clutch and into the pilot bearing. And so it turns your input shaft. As your input shaft turns, your main drive gear turns both of your counter-rotating shafts. Your counter-rotating shafts turn your gears, which are sitting on your floating shaft or your main drive shaft, and they're not engaged until you engage them using the clutch and the stick shift, and what they do is they slide these collars back and forth. And so starting in the back of the transmission, you have your reverse gear, first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear. And pending which gear you want to use, one of these shift collars is going to slide forward or backwards into the gear you select. So once you engage your gear, uh, so you select first gear, you're going to engage your first gear here. That's going to rotate, creating your output shaft on the back side to rotate. And going from your output shaft, it's going to go into your auxiliary box. All right, and so what your auxiliary box does I, on here you have two counter rotating shafts as well and what these do is it determines if you're going to be in your high gear or your low gear and when you first get moving for your first five gears it's going to be considered your low and you have your selector switch on your shifter inside your cab and so for your lower gears it's going to be uh, on your uh, gears here and so what happens is it's a reduction, so you have a bigger gear turn and smaller gears giving you more torque, which gives you uh, more power. And if you, when you hit fifth gear needing to go to sixth gear, you hit your power selector and it puts you into high gear, and it moves this shift collar here, allowing you to go into high gear, and it transmits power into your uh, output shaft, which connects going to your drive shaft. 